Are you ready to slap some ham? <laughs> so today, we will be reacting to one of my personal favorites and a channel that we have yet to react to, and that will be Slapped Ham. Now, if you don't know anything about them, they do a lot of compilation videos of like creepy things, ghost videos, stuff like that. And we are going to be reacting to some terrifying ghost videos. So let's roll the clips. As the video begins, we see a group of men working in a cemetery. But see if you can spot anything out of the ordinary. If you look more closely, a dark, wispy shape suddenly begins to move from left to right throughout the cemetery. If you slow the footage down, its presence becomes even creepier. Looks like it has long, thin arms and appears to be hovering above the ground. Whatever it is, it moves behind the wooden pole in the foreground, eliminating the possibility that it might be dust or a bug on the lens. So I wanted to start off with something strong here. And with this video, um, this one is legit. This one is non-human. It's aura is glowing kind of like this brick red color. Now, I think you can see it in the video, how it kind of goes from the screen like this, kind of zigzags in a way. But usually when I see auras that are reddish or like dark like that, Typically, it's something that is negative, like really negative. Oftentimes, any kind of red symbolizes hatred or anger, wrath, those kinds of things. It also, red correlates to the root chakra, and it makes me wonder if this entity is either like an elemental type or if it's just like a non-human, like nasty thing but that it's what it's given right now. And uh, it's actually concerning. That thing is actually pretty strong. And the fact that it can manifest on camera like that, I mean, that was a long time ago. It's not uncommon for negative entities to linger around cemeteries. Now, I know I've said in the past that you're not gonna get earthbound spirits or haunted stuff in cemeteries. It depends. Um, if there is a location where there's a lot of negative energy going on, it can attract negative things. But typically, if it does, it's non-human. Sometimes you'll have Earthies watch their funeral take place. But after that, a lot of times it's the negative non-human stuff because they feed on that type of negativity. And it's kind of like that residual negativity that they're feeding on. Whereas earthies tend to like to be around areas where they can take from the living. There's not a lot of living going on in a cemetery or a graveyard. So that's where the non-human entities come to play. The video is a compilation of footage captured in an unnamed hotel in England where the poster has worked for the last 16 years. While they admit they don't believe in ghosts, they have heard that the bar, restaurant and kitchen of the hotel are all haunted. Take a look at what the security cameras have captured. We see a glass fall from behind the bar and smash on the floor. Two curious patrons who must have heard the glass break lean over the barn to see what's happened. Next, we see some more strange activity. Lastly, we see a yellow caution sign fall over as if pushed by some sort of unseen force. Cleaner begins to search the area for the cause of the disturbance. 
All right, so there is a lot going on in this location. When you have pubs, bars, restaurants, places that have a lot of people consistently, and then you throw in some alcohol, you're going to get a lot of uh, energy. And it looks like there's a lot going on in this location. So not only do you have residual, you also have poltergeist-like energy, aka like thought form energy. And there also seems to be an earthy or two. And the earthies are men, and they're there in that location because when they were alive, they used to frequent that location often. And now they need to feed off of energy. And so they're like, oh, this place was always bussin'. So boom, there you go. They're feeding off the energies. Plus when people are drunk, their psychic defenses are lowered because they don't have that awareness. And uh, it's a perfect feeding ground for negative things. In this video posted to Reddit by user IggyTalls15, we see just such an event unfolding. Listen closely to the audio. Hello, Smokey. Hello, Smokey. Hello, Smokey. Hello, Smokey. The poster believes that at around the 16 second mark, you can hear someone whisper, Mike. Originally, he thought this was one of his children who had walked downstairs. However, when he saw that there was no one around, he ran. The poster goes on to note that it was around 12 a.m. when this occurred and that it was just him and his pets downstairs. So this disembodied voice, there are many ways or reasons that this can happen. Sometimes you can have residual energy. Um, sometimes it can be spirits or entities. It depends on the situation. But in this current situation, there's two things going on here. One, there's an earthy, AKA earthbound spirit. And two, the man actually has an attachment at least in the video. Um, I'm not fully tapped in to see like if he still does, but at least at that time he did. The earthy that's there is actually from the area where they're living and it's a man. This eerie image was taken on a flip phone back in the late 2000s. The photo uploaded here to the Chilling SK Facebook page has very little other accompanying information, only that it was captured in an unnamed opera house. As you can see, there's a strange yellowish shape just behind the woman in white. If you look closely, you can even see a face, a face believed by viewers to be that of a baby. So what do you make of this creepy image, seeing that it was taken on an old flip phone, the ghostly shape might be the result of poor camera quality. Literal Phantom of the Opera, oh my god. This one was hard to feel like, okay, is it paranormal? Yes. However, in this case, the spirit is crossed over into the light, that's kind of why you're seeing the gold aura around it, so that's a good sign, they're just paying a visit. Um. I don't see anything negative in this situation. It's kind of hard to see exactly what the spirit was, but it looks female. I know in the video they say it looks like a baby or a child, but it looks like a younger female. After receiving this picture from her husband, user Sexy Sadie Mae Glutes decided to share it on Reddit. The photo was supposedly captured by her husband's friend and shows a mysterious faceless figure in their kitchen. What makes this sighting even creepier is that the friend claims to have seen the same figure walking down their hallway, but was unable to see its face. When he told his wife, she too said she had seen the same thing. Then while browsing through several photos of their son, the man noticed that one of them showed the figure they had both seen. So I know they have their theories on what they think it is, but I feel like part of that too is to make it more ominous for the viewers but I don't think it is what they're saying it is. Honestly, it's a male earthy, chilling, lingering around the kitchen. A lot of times um, you'll see just shadows 
in parts of their body, it doesn't necessarily mean that they're more negative than something else. However, even though this one doesn't particularly have the intention to want to harm, the thing with earthbound spirits is they have to take energy from the living to kind of do their oogly boogly thing, especially if they're trying to prove or show that they're there. This next video is uploaded to the TikTok account, The Power World. It begins as the camera holder can be heard opening the door to a basement. By the way he's acting, it seems that something downstairs has somehow caught his attention. It's eerily quiet and the room is littered with toys. Most notably, several lifelike dolls. The man keeps searching the space but seems unable to locate whatever it was that originally caught his attention. He then turns to face a large mirror. Take a look at what happens. Oh my... <laughs> what are you doing there? There's a little girl watching him from the stairs. After the man's initial shock, we can tell by his reaction that the girl is probably just his daughter. What are you doing there? Who are you? I got you good. Oh yes, you did. The relieved man follows close behind. However, as he exits the basement, he turns back to take one final look down into the darkness. That's when his camera catches this. Huh. The ball on the stairs suddenly moves as if kicked by some sort of unseen force. Hmm. The video then ends and we're left pondering what happened next. So it seems that maybe there was something strange going on in the man's basement after all. Let's hope everyone remains safe the next time they choose to venture down into this eerie basement. Hey. All right, so this one, this one at first tripped me up. Well, okay, so immediately when he's going down to the basement, I could feel poltergeisty energy from the child that lives in that house. But when they show the ball, like, being kicked, the way in which it travels was very suspicious. So I went back and I went frame by frame at, like, 0.25 speed, and I did not see any masking or any, like, sus things. Now, I'm not a professional when it comes to debunking video clips, but based on the feeling and knowing that there is a poltergeist energy there, I wouldn't be surprised if things do move around. And the energy from the poltergeist is very similar to the little girls. The little girl is highly like active and all over the place, almost ADHD-like, and very prank-like. And so it kind of feels like it was an extension of the little girl kicking the ball to scare her dad because it looks like she pranks him a lot. And even in the video, she scares the bejesus out of him by coming up behind him on the stairs. And I wouldn't be surprised if she can see the things going on because I'm very certain that she has her own extra sensory perception abilities and maybe those parents might peek in on the little girl at times and notice she's talking to what looks like herself but she's not talking to herself however with that being said because her energy is very like high especially the psychic part i wouldn't be surprised if down the line she has more experiences especially like scary ones where spirits and ghosts kind of like either attack her or just scare her but that's because of her abilities it tends to attract things whether it's good or bad or neutral it's because she can see them 
and if she doesn't know how to like cope or if she doesn't know or understand what's going on it might scare her so i feel like in this situation i would i wouldn't dismiss the things that she's seeing or experiences and maybe like give her ways to protect herself and or explain things validate things but don't ever make it like oh it's not real or oh it's just your imagination that's not a good idea that's just gonna like gaslight her and second guess and it could give her more psychological problems down the line watch the beginning of this next clip and see if you can spot anything strange About three seconds into this video, which was uploaded to Facebook by user Muhammad Hassan Javed, something appears to move towards the vehicle. While it's difficult to see at first, if you slow the footage down, the strange object's presence becomes more obvious. The OP notes that the footage was captured at their university, however they don't mention the location. Now the car, I did see the thing go across the street almost immediately, like that, that was like boink, that was so easy to see. And at first it might take you a few seconds to see it, but um, you can see it for sure and it's not doctored in any way. I wanted to see if it was an earthy or like a residual type kind of energy and it was kind of hard to tell because it's like crossing the street but it didn't feel very conscious now could it be a fractal which is a type of res residual energy yeah um sometimes they kind of just wander and they look like they're conscious but they're not or like in general just residual energy but I'm feeling like there was an accident there either in the area near vicinity something and I feel like somebody died but also you can have with residual energy if that is a popular location where people cross the street it can leave an energetic imprint but I think somebody died on that road Okay, watch this, y'all. This man. In this clip uploaded to the TikTok account, The Para World, we see a rather creepy scene unfolding. He constantly looking back, right? He talking to somebody, right? The security footage shows what looks like a guard talking to a person that isn't there. Look, having a kind of whole conversation with somebody, right? Saying that somebody came and he daffing that person off and everything, now see? First, he turns to talk to the person. Then he even stands up and appears to fist bump them. Saying that somebody came and he daffing that person off and everything. Now see? Next, the guard pulls out the chair next to him and looks as though he invites the invisible person to sit down. He swear to, he swear to God he sat there and had a whole conversation with this person. He moved over talking to him and everything. If you look closely, you can even see a shadow on the floor. He daffed him off. You see that shadow? And then the shadow goes over here and he pulling the chair out for him. The security guard then appears to continue his conversation with this mysterious invisible entity. He moved over talking to him and everything. Several viewers thought that the guard must have been interacting with a ghost. Ooh, this one's like my favorite. And it's, I don't know if the guard is realizing that the person's not there or if he does know it's not there and it's a ghost because he's having a full-on conversation with it and you can see it walk across the screen and sit into the chair and he's talking to the guy and it's a man of course but it's funny because the lady like going through the footage she's like he's just talking to somebody and he just gave him a fifth bump like he's actually there well that guy has psychic abilities whether he knows it or not and uh there is a spirit there and he's talking to them and i don't know i think that's really cool that they caught that on camera 
but the man is again from the area and he's really lonely and he likes talking to that guy um i mean he's kind of feeding off of his energy too but he's pretty harmless other than that he just doesn't want to be by himself wants to have a conversation but he also doesn't want to cross over Sometimes you have earthbound spirits that don't want to cross over because either they're scared or they are curious. They just, you know, don't want to. And uh, that's one of those cases right here. He don't want to go. But um, yeah, I'm going to conclude it here. What do you guys think? Do you think this was all legit? Do you think this was um, fake? Or do you think any of it could be debunkable? What do you think? Put it down below. I love Slap Tam. I'll probably do more reactions in the future because they get the coolest, coolest clips. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all soon. Peace out.